you are going to entertain the people who shot the feet of Palestinian footballers. Yeah, yeah there, there's two kids, 18 year olds, that had been to the local uh, football stadium pitch to train, dreamed of playing at some point for Palestine, and some IDF soldiers decided to shoot. They shot one kid seven times in one foot and four yeah. times in the other. So obviously they'll never play soccer, but they'll, and they'll never walk again. Oh, you know, I'm a musician. I just want to play my music. I don't want Roger Waters bullying me. <laughs> what? They're shooting the fucking feet of 18-year-olds who want to play soccer. Don't talk to me about your freedom of speech. Pay attention. <laughs> I mean, I do care about it passionately, but I don't have to live there. Hmm. I'm not a Palestinian. I don't have, get my door kicked in every night by whoever wants to. In Palestine, this happens to people mm. constantly, and even to children, as we've seen recently, mm. with Ahit Tamimi. Do we believe in law or not? Do we consider that human beings, individual human beings, have rights? The Israelis have been time-wasting since 1948. They pretended that they were going to go along with the UN mandate that there should be two states. If they were having a state, that there should be a Palestinian state as well. But, but they never had any intention of not taking over the whole thing. From 1948 on, it, they have been systematically making life on the earth that is Palestine intolerable for the indigenous people in an attempt to drive them into neighboring countries, into refugee camps, so that they can take over the whole. And at, at, I mean, at least now, they're sort of admitting it, because you know, it's like, it was so obvious for so many years, but, but it's almost impossible for Netanyahu now to and say the same thing again and again without kind of tittering up his sleeve. All you people in this room, your efforts are not in vain, and I, I'm, I'm, I'm seeing it in the United States. And it, it's kind of barely perceptible on the surface because the mainstream media will not report it. But I speak to lots of people and I hear it, and certainly in the Jewish community in the United States of America, support for Israel and its appalling colonialist policies and its racism and apartheid. Uh, the support for them is diminishing at a great rate, particularly amongst the young. Because this is a global effort, and it is really beginning to gain some purchase, and, and that makes me really happy. Ordinary people standing shoulder to shoulder with other ordinary people who may live 10,000 miles away, but who nevertheless we uh, um, support and have sympathy with their predicament. And, and that is what makes us human. Thank you, Dr.